Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie? Here. Director Rundy? Here. Director Hayes? Here. Director Roth is not present. Director Moore is not present. Director Deacon is excused. And President Bradley? We have a quorum. I'll call the meeting order. From the President. Recommendation that Ben Heard construction was read as the apparent low bidder, a review of Ben Heard's construction proposed MWBE participation was made by the airport's business diversity development office. It was determined that Ben Heard construction did not make a good faith effort to achieve 25% MBE and 5% WBE goals applicable to this project. Therefore, the board recommends that that the airport BDD office review the second low bidder proposed MWBE participation as submitted by Interface Construction Corporation and approve the MWBE participation. Therefore, preliminary approval be given to Interface Construction for letting number 8643 ceiling and air curtain at door 27. T1 apron under C concourse, St. Louis Lambert International Airport. Supplemental agreement number three to PSA number 1181, civil, structural, surveying, and geotechnical geotechn design services, Lambert St. Louis International Airport. Supplemental agreement number five to PSA number 1114, Kings Highway Bridge over Union Pacific Railroad. Recommends approval. Agreement for development providing ongoing hosting and supporting services for City of St. Louis Board of Public Service website between Indox Services and the City of St. Louis Board of Public Service recommends approval. Maintenance agreement entered into between Metropolitan St. Louis Sewer District and the City of St. Louis for and in consideration of the approval sewer plans and of the issuance of a sewer permit by MSD for stormwater management facilities according to the plan to plans to be approved by by the said district for development known as Forest Park Central Fields in the city of St. Louis at 301 South Kings Highway recommends approval utility agreement for federal aid project North Broadway improvements from Thrush Avenue to Walter Avenue, federal project number STP 9900665 between St. Louis City Water Division and the City of St. Louis recommends approval. Emergency work orders issued for the month of June 2017 by the Department of the President and Facilities Management Division, Board of Public Service for emergency work and repairs requiring prompt attention be approved. From the President and Director of Streets. Recommendation that permit for Washington University for a public improvement of two driveways to be widened and rebuilt to provide adequate emergency vehicle access. The existing bike and pedestrian paths will be modified as well as 6201 through 6253 Foresight and City Block 5413 recommends approval subject to certain conditions. Recommendation that permit for Maximus Holding LLC to encroach with wheelchair ramp at 2128 Dolman be filed by reason of the fact that the application was referred to the Department of Streets. Area outside of property line is no longer city right away. From the Director of Public Utilities. Recommendation that the following emergencies be approved as follows. Labor and materials to inspect clean repair and test 2,000 horsepower pumps motor at distribution finish water pumping station at Chain of Rocks facility. And labor and materials to install a holding plate to the concrete structure of the shore intake in, in order to hold the bar gate screen in place to stop large debris from entering the tunnel towards the raw water pumps at at the Chain of Rocks raw water intake structure on the Mississippi River. Work to be done by Contractor River Diving and Salvage Inc. for four days at less than $2,895 per day for a four, four million crew. And rubber seal, rubber seat and gasket replacement for a 54 inch butterfly valve at the Howard Bend Water Treatment Plant recommends approval. <coughs> From the Director of Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following permits be approved for AT&T 
as follows. Upsize existing handhold to three by five by three feet. From this handhold, trench five feet to a new four by four pad with fiber box. From handhold at 6200 Lindell, board four fiber 53 feet to rise pole at same address. From handhold at 6200, board eight feet to rise pole at same address. From pole at 3820, board 215 feet to rise pole at 3815. Uh, manhole at 5400, bore 358 feet to a new three by five by three feet handhole at Winona. From this handhole, dig two feet to a new four by four pad with fiber box. From handhole A, 5355, bore 40 feet to rise pole at same address. From manhole at 4008 Wilmington, bore 604 feet to a new three by five by three three feet handhold at 6024. From handhold, dig one feet to a new three by three pad with fiber box. From handhold at 6024 Lenona, Lenona bore 86 feet to a rise pole at 6022 Lenona. From handhold, bore 534 feet to rise pole at 4065 Bowen. From handhold, bore 122 feet to rise pole at 6101 Marina. Marinetta. To cut, cut and restore four feet by four feet section to place and bore new copper cable at the front of 618 Bittner Street. Starting at existing manhole located at the front of 2600 North Vandevender, bore south on North Vandevender four feet off of curb line for 139 feet. Turn and bore 681 feet across North Vandevender and down cottage. The placement will be three feet behind curb line in the grassy area and a three feet by five feet by three feet handhold will be placed to meet up with the customer provided pipe that will feed new cell site at the rear of 3955 St. Fernand. Starting at existing handhold located at the front of 5500 Hall, bore and place one fiber cable north along Hall seven feet off edge of pavement for 196 feet turn west across hall for 76 feet leaving city right away entering customer property at 5911 hall boring place of fiber cable from city right away 10 feet into private property at 5136 southwest starting at the at a point on the east side of riverview road approximately 550 feet front address of 9026 Riverview at existing AT&T manhole, a fiber cable will be bored south five feet east of the east curve line of the northbound Riverview. Approximately, from approximately 120 feet, at that point, the fiber will be bored to the west onto the property of 9215 Riverview. Starting at the power pole on the east side of Hall Street at 8766 Hall Street, a cable will be bored to the north approximately 825 feet, five feet west of the east right away of Hall Street. From existing handhold at 5425, bore 843 feet to new 17 by 30 by 24 handhold at 5457. From handhold at 5457, bore 162 feet to a new two by three by two handhold at 5600 Olita. From 5600, bore two inner ducts, three, 313 feet to a new two by three by two feet handhold at 3501. From handhold at 3501, bore two inner ducts, 296 feet to a new two by three by two feet handhold at 5601. From 5601, bore two inner ducts, 286 feet to a new three by five by three feet handhold at 5601. From handhold at 5601 Marquette, dig one feet to a new four by four pad with fiber box. From handhold at 5601 board, 39 feet to rise pole at the same address. From handhold at 5601 Potomac, board 70 feet to rise pole at same address. From handhold board, 62 feet to a rise pole at 3501 Regal. From handhold at 56, 5600 board, 66 feet to rise pole at 3540. From manhole at 3994 at the Lowe's and board 115 feet to a new three by five by three feet handhole at same address. From handhole at 
from handhold dig one feet to a new four by four pad with fiber box. From handhold at 39.94 board 81 feet to rise pole at same address. From handhold at 39.94 board 376 feet to rise pole at 39.65 to Lozen. Contractor to access manhole at 1405 Pine and board 45 feet east, 280 feet south, then 110 feet east to customers conduit to provide service to 1315 Chestnut. Lane closure will be needed. Start at an existing AT&T manhole located on the south side of Magnolia across the street from 4401 Magnolia. From the manhole, board east two feet behind the curb for 231 feet, turn and board north across Magnolia to a, for an additional 61 feet before entering private property at 4401 Magnolia. Starting at an existing manhole located on Winnebago side of 3701 Ohio, Board north across Winnebago for 214 feet, staying one feet behind the front edge of the sidewalk. Turn and board across Ohio for 54 feet, ending at the, at the rise, riser pole located at the south side of 3630 Ohio. Charter, starting at the vault in, in, <clears throat> in the rear, 5600 Charter, St. Louis City Parks Department of, in, in Forest Park. Charter would like to board 300 feet west across McKinley Drive and place a vault in the grass. Then make a board 500 feet north, placing a vault in the grass at the northwest corner of Clayton and McKinley. Kinley. Charter, Charter would then like to board north, <coughs> northwest 500 feet, placing a vault in the grass on the south side of Wells. Continuing to board 500 feet, placing a vault in the sidewalk near the northwest corner of Wells and Concourse. Then board 500 feet west, placing a vault in the sidewalk. Continuing to board west, an additional six, 600 feet, placing a vault in the sidewalk near the driveway entrance to the, to the, private, to the primate house at the zoo. Then board north, 200 feet to the primate house at the St. Louis Zoo. All fiber to be placed in a two inch duct. Fiber count will be 36 CT. Charter would like to, starting at the rear of Patterson, set a vault in the sidewalk at the alley entrance and bore east 100 feet to 5051 Patterson. All fiber to be placed in two inch duct. Fiber count will be 36 CT. Recommendation that permit for charter starting at the power pole at the southeast corner of Wabada and North Euclid. Place a vault in the utility easement and bore 500 feet south to the property property entrance at 1913 North Euclid. Bore 300 feet to the side of 1916 North Euclid. Our fiber to be placed in a two inch duct. Fiber count would be 36 CT. Recommendation that permit for charter to place a vault in the grass to the east of 6255 Knox Industrial Drive, then bore west 700 feet to 6301 Knox Industrial Drive, then place a vault at the end of, of the cul-de-sac and bore 350 feet to the east of 6330 Knox Industrial Drive, then Charter would like to bore from previous set vault south 400 feet to 6351 Knox Industrial Drive. All fiber to be placed in a two inch duct. Fiber count will be 36 CT. Recommendation that permit for charter starting at utility pole located at the south side of Clayton at 4200 Clayton. Charter would like to travel 80 feet southwest across Clayton Road to a vault on the north side of Clayton at 4349 Clayton. The two inch conduit will house a 0.625 coax cable. Recommendation that permit for charter for starting at the rear of 6400 Bancroft, set a vault at the base of the power pole in the utility easement. Then bore 500 feet west to the rear of 6500 Chippewa. At that point, Bore across the alley 50 feet until private property at 6500 Chippewa. All fiber to be placed in a two inch duct. Fiber count will be 36 CT. 
a recommendation that permit for a charter due to redevelopment and improvements at the Bile Park Village doing underground work to replace a high profile ground enclosure with a concrete vault along the sidewalk near the parking lot entrance around South Broadway. The work might t include or less than starting at the southwest corner of Walnut at, at South Broadway, 101 South Broadway, going south for a distance of 320 feet any near the parking entrance to, to set vault in the grass area or sidewalk at 175 South Broadway. Recommendation that the following permits for Amory, Missouri be approved subject to certain conditions. To construct new multiple conduit duct banks and manholes installation within 2nd Street between Morgan Street and Martin Luther King and Morgan Street, Claymore Alley to 2nd Street, and within Dr. Martin Luther King, 1st Street and 2nd Street right away, approximately 800 LF to open trench construction. And permit for Amory, Missouri to replace arm and fiber loop over and removing spans and poles on west side of Tower Grove, south of Hunt. Recommendation that permit for AT&T to install new three feet by five feet by three feet handhold over existing four inch PVC in alley at the rear of 10 Maryland Plaza be filed by reason of the fact that the alley was vacated by ordinance and is now private property. From the Director of Streets, recommendation that permit for Betty Jean Kerr People's Health Center to encroach with banners on six, six light poles along Delmore near 5701 Delmore be approved. And Brandon View LLC to encroach with, with balconies along 6 and Locust at 512 Locust recommends approval subject to certain conditions. From the Director of Public Safety, Recommendation that the following festival zones be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. Medina Temple, July 23rd, 2017 at North Market between North Florissant and Hogan. And St. Louis Brewers Picnic, July 28th, 2017 at Locust between 10th and 11th. Unity in the Community Youth Summit, July 29th, 2017 at Fairgrounds Park and North Curb Lane of Natural Bridge between <clears throat> Vandervender and Prairie and East Curb Lane of Vandervender between Natural Bridge and Kasut. Twisted Ranch, August 5th, 2017 at Soulard, Mark, Soulard Street from 8th to Alley East. Wiffle Ball Tournament, August 5th, 2017 at Francis Park and Open Highway Festival Music Festival, August 5th through 6th, 2017 to close limp between President and Cherokee. Now we have the conditional uses. Good afternoon, Mr. President, members of the board. My name is Michael Vicentaner, zoning plan examiner for the city, and I'll be representing the building commissioner at today's public meeting per board order number 766, transmitted here with her recommendations for the following conditional use agenda applications. Approval with conditions is recommended for three applications at 3255 Regal Place, 800 through 802 Geyer, and 3801 South Kings Highway. Any questions on the conditional uses from the board? Seeing not, take a motion, please. I move to approve the conditional uses. Second. Moved and seconded for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Rundy. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Roth is not present. Director Moore is not present. Director Deacon is excused and President Bradley. Aye. Conditional uses are approved. Hearing number 8197 for 5477 North Kings Highway. No one appeared today for the hearing from the Zoning Administrator's Office or from the conditional use uh, permit holder. It is recommended that we table this hearing for a future date. I move uh, to table the hearing. Second. Move to second for tabling. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Rundy. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Roth is not present. Director Moore is not present. Director Deacon is excused and President Bradley. Aye. Tabled. I'd like to turn your attention to our meeting minutes from our last regular meeting, Tuesday, June 27, 2017. 
Are there any questions or comments on the meeting minutes? So you now take a motion, please. I move to approve the uh, minute meeting. Second. Move to second for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Rundy. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Roth is not present. Director Moore is not present. Director Deacon is excused. And President Bradley. Aye. Minutes from the 27th are approved. If I can interject, um, I, I approved and said aye, but I'm trying to recollect if I was here in the last Tuesday. Do you, would you have a record of that, Sharice? Should be on there. I was? On the 27th? Yes. Yeah. You were here. I'm confusing that the fair holiday we did not the have. The only absentee was Director Deacon. Thank you. Sorry okay. for the, appreciate it. And I'll turn your attention to our meeting minutes from our special meeting from July 5th, 2017. Are there any questions or comments on those minutes? I move to approve those minutes. Second. Moved and second for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Rundy. Abstain. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Roth is, ex is not present. Director Moore is not present. Director Deacon is excused and President Bradley. Aye. The minutes from special meeting on the 5th are approved. Today's agenda. Are there any questions or comments on the agenda? Motion Same. to approve the agenda. Second. Moved and seconded. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Rundy. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Roth is not present. Director Moore is not present. Director Deacon is excused. And President Bradley. Aye. The agenda is approved. Motion for adjournment, please. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.